me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Know that I'm someone. No, I'm a child of God. The Bianchi that she had got. <laughs> I just started some new face care routine so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this but the one thing that I'm having trouble on doing is voiceovers do you guys have that same problem I finally made it out the house it's not raining just a little bit it's like pouring okay we're in the pouring stage right now so why I'm on here since we're let's do a little card chat okay so why am I finding out in my big age that I might have PCOS? Or I might had, because I don't claim it. It was with me back in the day. But since I'm healed, hold and healed, or healed and hold, however you want to say it, she no longer has. But I'm going to just talk about why I think that... Um, I had it for many, many years since a young one. And then right now, I'm going to denounce that in the name of Jesus so it won't be passed on to my generation, okay? It's like heavy menstrual, irregular periods, um, didn't even know nothing. Why, why, what was wrong with these doctors back in my day that they don't tell you stuff like this? And But all of a sudden, in these this time and space, that they have a name for things like let me find out i have something else but also ovarian ovarian cysts which i i i did i mean i got supposedly both of my um ovaries removed but my latest doctor said that i only have one removed but i need to really matter of fact this is a reminder to try to get my medical records for when I had my um ooh, sorry when I had my daughter because that's when my first ovary got taken out during a c-section with her um so I like the last couple of years I had got the other one out because of the heavy bleeding and stuff like that and I just couldn't take it no more the pain the pain I gotta go so I was like, this got to go. I'm not having no more kids anyways. But yeah, I got that removed. Um, but yeah, I had the issues of, you know, ovarian cysts. What else was the case? They said, um, like, I didn't have a lot of excessive hair, like, on my face or anything. I have to put the list right here. So I would put list of things that they said that people have um, PCS. Now, I wasn't diagnosed, and I am not a, dis a doctor, so this is a disclaimer. You know, if you guys feel like you have this, some of the symptoms that I'm naming off right now, go check with your doctor, because she ain't what. So, yeah, I'm just like, what the... Like, I don't even want to know the way they could find out. It's like blood work, urine samples, and, you know, stuff like that I, I read yesterday. So, you know what? I think pretty much about 99% of us have, has PCOS. And, and, and matter of fact, it says depression. Um bloating of the gut area the stomach that I mean like all my life my stomach never been flat flat mm -mm. it never been I don't remember if it was now it, been, it, it was you know flatter than it is now like it wasn't like you know <laughs> like but I feel like I always had like a little belly no matter what it was never flat flat I never seen no abs. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like, at my age, I'm finding out things about myself. And I think that I guess it's because me digging deeper into myself. Like, do you guys do that at an older age now? That the things that you thought about before, you you think about 
you know, why, you know, you try to bring it to a head. Like, why did, why was this? Why was that? It's almost like you're giving yourself, um, um, self reflection all the time and to make, and to make, you know, to make things better, you know, to make things easier. It's all about an easy life. That's the type of life I, I'm going to live. Like I said, somehow, some way, she's retiring from corporate at 45. If God says the same, I feel like he has that on my, he put that on my mind. He put that on my heart that I, 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 I look at, I've been working since I was 13. I think a, a lot of people say the same thing. I've, they've been working at a young age and constantly, and I just don't want to be in anybody's face no more. Anybody's business, you know, if it, if it's anybody's business, it better be my business. Okay. That's what I'm looking for at my big age. I'm about to order me some Dunkin'. What do you guys? What is your favorite drink at Dunkin'? Let me know. I get a double espresso with eight pumps of sugar. I mean, sugar-free over ice. Two ninety-nine. Okay. Know you're ready to order. Yes, one second. Um, but I'm gonna get something different. Can I just have sugar-free medium iced coffee? You want a medium iced coffee? Yeah, but can it have like sugar-free? You want a sugar-free vanilla? Yeah, can I have like eight pumps of sugar-free vanilla? Of um, uh, blueberry? You want eight vanilla and four blueberries? Yeah, that's it. That'd be great. Thank you. So that's what I got because I seen somebody in here. I think it was Beyond G that she had got. I think it was her that she got a, a iced coffee with blueberry and butter pecan. Comment down below, Beyond G, if that was you. I don't know. It was somebody. But yeah, I'm going to get this and then I'm going to go to my aunt and see what she needs. I think she needs some water or something. And then I'm going to go... Oh, wait a minute. I need some money. Hold on. So, I got my coffee. Um, I had to Apple Pay, so that's why I had to take you guys off. But, I'm telling you, girl. First of all, I think that I opened up the video at the house. But, I'm going to not probably use that clip. I don't know, because my phone storage got um, cut off. Cut off what I was saying. So, I don't know if I'm going to use that. So, if you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys ain't, welcome back. I'm Alexandra J. And she's back, y'all. Okay. So, um, yeah. I'm going to get myself together. The, the reason... Look, at, I say this all the time. You guys are probably tired of me saying this. I have a camera. I paid for about three years ago, right? I don't use it. I don't use it. And I'm tired of saying that. I When I, like a month ago, I started trying to use it. But I could not find myself to edit on the laptop. I just couldn't. I, it was just so confusing to me. So I was like, I need an iPad. And my daughter has one, but don't even get me started. Um, so... I think I'm going to have to order me once very, very soon so I could use my camera the quality, for the quality, for the storage, and for um, me just being a big influence now because, you know, she's growing over here. <laughs> I am growing each and every day. Cheers to this nasty coffee. It's taste like nothing but it's fine thank you it's fine I'm glad I got these you know but you know the blues See, do you guys do the same thing? Do you think about 
something that you were gonna say and then you remember and then you have to come back to say it, that's me right now. Because if I don't say it now, I'm gonna forget about it at my next stop. So, I was saying in my last clip that I might not play, I don't know, that I got some good news. I am an influencer. I got some good news. I'm an influencer for real, for real. Like, she is a creator on a whole nother level now. And I just need to get myself together to be posting on another platform. And she's going to grow. And the reason why I want to come and tell y'all this because I ain't no gatekeeper. I want y'all to be on this too. Because everybody needs to be on it. To build the brand, you know? So, I'm going to let you guys know. Just let me get back to the house. I need to figure out my first post. I set it up a little bit yesterday. I was like trying to get a feel of it. But I need to make they said I need to make eight posts on there so I can you know get some followers or whatever. It's another platform. I'll let you guys know all about it in just a second. Wait, wait for me. Okay, wait for the girl. And another thing she is no longer a Stanley girl. <laughs> she had to let him go. <laughs> oh, Stanley. Oh, Stanley. Where thou art, you Stanley? <laughs> he, he had to go. 732. Get your stuff. Get your stuff and get out. <laughs> Only because, I'm going to tell you right now, for me. Now, this might be like, if you guys are a Stanley girl, don't even hold me to it. But I had the Stanley Ice Flow in a 30 ounce because I figured that I was it was easier to carry because it had the little handle here. I'll put a picture right here if it's going back. And and I, I was sick of my other one that I had that was not a Stanley, but it was a dupe. It was tipping over all the time. It was falling. It was just spilling everywhere in my little uh, lunch bag. I was sick of it. I was so sick of it. So I was like, let me get me a Stanley with the, the, the flip lid. The one that I could just flip up, flip down, and, you know, and then plus. I, I paid for the name, so let me get the Stanley, okay? You can, let me tell you right now, I put ice in there. I gave it so many chances, you know, like, cause I am a loyal person. And when I'm committed to somebody, I'm committed. They may cheat on me, but I would never cheat on them. So I'm like, hey Stanley, I, I put ice in you. Like, I fill you up, what's going on? Why, why is you not staying cold? That's what you said you was going to do. I was like, well, maybe it's because... Just making excuses. So, I did it. I put some more ice in it. I took them with me. Took them with me. Not even a whole eight hours. The cup says 30 hours. Not even a whole... I think the cup says 24 hours. Whatever the cup say. He didn't even stay cold for two hours. Oh. And you and and you cost me a pretty penny. Now, I don't know how much the big tall Stanley's cost, but I know that my third little 30 ounce Stanley was $38. So let's wrap it up and she's going back. And Thanks, Bianchi. Look at another one. Another clue. That's why I just love content creators. I just love, you know, the support. I just love the community. The Because like I said, me, no friends out here in this world that I live in out here, right? But you guys are my friends here. Because you guys give me all the, the information. You guys give me all the tips. And you guys give me all the inspiration to keep on going. Bianchi told me there was lead in it too. What you know, granted, there may be lead everywhere, you know, but just one more thing 
a strike for Stanley to get up out of my house, okay? <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Right now, my aunt gave me her list of things to get. But um, since I have to get used to this, doing this outfit of the day or product, reviews um because i'm gonna be like a reviewer of things and i'm just getting used to it with y'all first because you guys are my friends um but i know i'm see let me tell you about myself i i don't like coming on this camera looking crazy because i know how i used to be back in the day like i used to be a makeup girly i used to always have my hair done regardless of what anybody's talking about she was doing her hair every week and um i didn't really have i wasn't really like an outfit type person because you know my my jobs always had like a uniform um so i wasn't never like dress but I know that I kept my nails done regardless of what anybody told me I had my hair done and my and I used to always have my face beat down but I don't know it feels like I let all that stuff go um after the during the pandemic because I was just f free to be free and I didn't really have to um show up like that no more and i feel like i was showing up like that because it was in me but i think it was for more for other people like i just had to look like that but i really do like lo looking put together so i don't know why i was just took a step back from that but i want to get really really truly truly back into that because it just it just encouraged me to get out the house more and do more things and and because you, when you dress you want to go somewhere. Where are we going? What are we looking for? What are we doing? <laughs> so, um, I really want to get back to into that. But let me just tell you right now. Since I'm getting back slowly into that, I'm going to give you, even though this is nothing, actually, what I got on. Um, but it, it is, I got clothes on, so let me tell you what they are. So this headscarf, which I think that, ooh, that would be so nice when we started a little business with head, African head um, wraps. What are they called in Africa? I have to come up, I have to think about the name. But I, I got this from the African market out here in Vegas. And she has a whole line of fabric that you go in there and you could pick you know like whatever you want like i think this like 10 to 20 dollars a yard and then she gives you a nice one she has like a little shop i love going into there and she also has african clothes and stuff like that like um jewelry. sorry so yeah i got this from the african store and this was probably a couple years back i bought like i have bought a bunch of them i don't know where my other ones went but i have this one left out of all of the fabric and mostly i have this fabric that i was getting then was i was making these um paintings because i i like to paint like i'm a painter um if you guys don't know that about me i paint and i was adding fabric to the paint to make it like a texture um art so yeah i was buying a lot of, as a matter of fact that's where most most of them went to that i would probably show you guys a little bit of uh, you know things that i did um later on when i get back to the house but yeah i got the african scarf on the tommy hill figure um sweatshirt oversized it's nice and comfy i love the 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 um oversized look and then i have american eagle sweatpants on with my high platform crocs um in this rainy day so yeah that's what i got going on right now and then uh, i got my you know frames that because I need to find me some frames. I, I got my prescription glasses, which is Lauren, um, Ralph Lauren. But I don't really, I like the color of them. I just don't like how small they look. I, I wish that, these are Marc Jacobs. I wish that they had like um, 
bigger frames. Like, I don't... I don't like how I don't know even know where they're at. I think they're back at the house, but I don't like how they're they're like kind of like cat. I I just got them because of the color, and there was no other option, and I was just picking up something. But I don't want to be rushing for the things that I want now. It days I don't want to have to rush through because I won't wear it. Like, what's the point of getting it? You know, I mean, I don't. I barely wear them, and they're not re even readers. You know, I need readers inside those glasses because they're for distance which i don't wear them because i need more readers more than i need the distance <laughs> okay so anyways stop rambling on to that i'm gonna stop my rage because my mom but i just want to see which bible that you guys are reading this is the message bible i have my handy dandy king james or new King James at the house, but this is the one I keep in the car just in case I'm, um, you know, I'm at a stop or something. I want to um, read a verse or whatever. But did you bring the? Uh, I bet you bring it, didn't bring that. Um, uh, the, the plant food either, did you? <laughs> what? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even see you. I know. What are you looking for? I'm not looking for nothing. Where's Tinkerbell? No, I'm not bringing them. Why would I bring them? It's I raining and I don't, you want them to track up your car? No. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I was man. running with the set. Yeah. Running with the set. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm like. Why is it it's raining up in here? I guess what are they gonna do, brother? Yeah. That's twenty dollars. You want that? That's what you that. you just got something like that too. What is that? It don't have any of things. Look at it's raining on. Look, it's sold. That's sold and it's soaking wet. <laughs> is it supposed to be this color or different colors? I get. That'll be cute if you. That don't be cute. Out well. outside in the patio area, I guess. Ugh, why am I putting my hands in that? So I'm, we're here at the Savers Goodwill and everything out here oh, yeah. is soaking wet. Um, but we're just looking, looking to see what we can find. You like these? These are readers. Those are different. So now we're at Sprouts. We just left the Goodwill, but I've been hearing everybody talking about these. Have you guys tried these yet? This is what I need, deep bloating. But $30, she ain't there yet. Okay, I came here to get some dates that I use for my smoothie. I don't know why they don't have no more dry mangoes. It's been, I don't know, for a minute. This is... Okay, I get these dates right here. So Trader Joe's is next. My daughter wanted some flowers, so let me get her some flowers. What is your guys' favorite flower? Ooh, they got some more new plants. I need another one. That's pretty. 
She said, I came in here and one thing, for one thing and one thing only. And let's see what they got over here. Okay, guys, I finally made it back to the house. I wanted to show you guys real quick what, what we got from the store. I, I really want to tell you guys what I was going to tell you guys early, but I have to save it for my next vlog. Um, I'm going to probably start it tomorrow because I ran out of time. It's actually dark in here, as you can see, and I don't like the aesthetics, so <laughs> I'm going to just show you real quick what I bought. Look at my son. He broke his whole... Let me show you. He broke his bed, so now I have that big um, bed frame in here i need to find somebody to pick it up i'll give it away whatever the case may be but it gotta go okay so i got some tulips some red tulips for my daughter um from trader joe's i showed you guys that i picked up this let me take these glasses off looking crazy i picked up this dupe for 16.99 stanley dupe it looks just like the Stanley, but a little bit bigger. I love the color. That's why I got it. Then I also went to, I got that from TJ Maxx. I also got this basket. It's so cute. I love like maximum aesthetic um, decor, like anything that looks kind of funky or crazy. And this reminds me of Africa. It reminds me of something like, like out of, you know the African home decor, so I love this, and it was seven ninety nine, and I'll go on my table there. And then I got um some from Sprouts. I picked me up this purple. Um, stop saying um. I picked up this purple. That see, I can't even talk. I can't even talk. This purple yam that I'm gonna make some salmon. And I'm gonna use this bread, or not bread, this, well, yeah, I guess it's bread. Wheat, it's wheat bread. Um, And I'm gonna make like a wrap. And that is it. Something else I was gonna tell you guys. 
I don't know. I got a bunch of fruit right here that I'm going to start to get back on track on how I've been eating. Like, I did a 40-day raw fast. It's been about two weeks since I did that, which was good. And I thought I was going to just stay, you know, keep going and stay. Like, I wasn't really craving anything cooked. But, you know, I ate one cooked thing, and now it's out, I'm, I'm out of line. Like, so I need to get back on track with that. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I've been gone all day. It seemed like it's nighttime. I've been gone since... 11 o'clock, and it's about 7 o'clock, so I don't know. I can't even talk anymore, but I'll see you guys in my next vlog. I appreciate every last one of you guys. Why is it very important in God's eyes and in my eyes? And I'll see you guys with the news that I want to share in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, so I want to share you guys. I want to share with you guys the news, but it's going to be in my next vlog. I'm going to probably show you my salmon plate so it could be in this vlog and I can use it as a picture for my thumbnail. But that's it. Good night, y'all. Oh, I scarcely see. Yeah, for her. But I know you really nice. Stuck.